M is for Mitten, a Michigan alphabet. Written by Annie Appleford, poems by Kathy Jo Wargan, and illustrated by Michael G. Monroe. For Mike, Maggie, and Ben with my love, thanks to my family and friends, Pearly Broom, Michael Monroe, Kathy Jo Wargan, and Sleeping Bear Press, AA. Thanks to my parents for giving me the confidence in myself to pursue my dreams of being an artist, and to my grandparents for inspiring me with my first paint set, MGM. A is for the apple blossom, frilly as can be. It dances in the springtime breeze upon the apple tree. The apple blossom is the state flower of Michigan. In late spring, this delicate flower blossoms with five pink and white petals. B is for a great big bridge that's called the Mighty Mac. Whichever side you may be on, you can drive across and back. The Mackinac Bridge connects the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan. It spans five miles over an area of water known as the Straits of Mackinac, which is where Lake Michigan and Lake Huron meet. One of the longest suspension bridges in the world, taking over three years to build, the Mighty Mac opened to traffic in 1957. Before that, people traveled back and forth by boat. The brook trout is a small, colorful fish. It likes to swim in shallow lakes and streams. It is the state fish of Michigan and has red, green, and blue spots on its sides. Now C is for cherry. Little sweet ones fill my belly. Tart ones make me pucker so they're used in jam and jelly. Cherry trees grow in long, neat rows in the light, sandy soil of northern Michigan. There are so many orchards near Traverse City that it has become known as the cherry capital of the world. Western Lower Michigan is ideal for growing fruit such as cherries, apples, and peaches, because Lake Michigan warms the passing air in spring and fall and cools it in the summer, causing more moderate temperatures. D is for Detroit. It's called the Motor City, where cars roll out of factories so bright and new and pretty. Detroit is the largest city in our state. It was founded in 1701 by Antoine de la Motte Cadillac and was first called Fort Pontchartrain de Detroit. Known as the automobile capital of the world, Detroit is home to General Motors, Ford, and Daimler Chrysler. It was the first city in the world to pave a mile of concrete road and to install a traffic light. But Detroit is famous for more than just cars. It was also the birthplace of a record company called Motown, where many famous singers got their start. Did you know Detroit is the French word for straight, meaning a narrow passage of water connecting two larger bodies of water? Eastern white pine starts with E, a tree so tall and straight, cut for timber long ago, all throughout our state. We've had fun from A to E, what is next? Wait and see. The eastern white pine, Michigan state tree, is very tall and straight, making it a good choice for timber. Michigan was filled with white pine when the first European settlers came and soon these and other newcomers began to harvest the trees in an era of the 1800s called the Big Cut. In the 1870s, enough eastern white pine was cut that if placed end to end, it would have made a path from Michigan to the moon. F stands for Gerald R. Ford. He was president long ago. He is a very special man from Michigan, did you know? Gerald R. Ford, who grew up in Grand Rapids, was the 38th president of the United States of America. Before that, he was a University of Michigan football star, served on a World War II aircraft carrier, and represented Michigan in Congress for 24 years. G is for our Great Lakes, with water fresh and clear. To see a state that's edged in blue, just take a good look here. Michigan is full of wonder, and now you can see why. Let's turn the page and take a peek at the letters H and I. Michigan is known as the Great Lakes State. It is bordered by four of the five Great Lakes, which are the greatest supply of fresh water in the world. 
To help you remember all five of the Great Lakes, think of the word HOMES, H-O-M-E-S, which stands for Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. H is for the harbors filled with boats and lights and docks. Some are soft and sandy, and some are filled with rocks. Boaters use lighthouses to safely navigate around shallow or rocky areas and into harbors. Michigan has more lighthouses and more registered boats than any other state. I is for the islands. There are many to be found. A piece of land that's big or small with water all around. Michigan has hundreds of islands. Beaver, Drummond, Grand, and Mackinac, to name a few. The largest is Isle Royale in Lake Superior, which is the northernmost point of the state. The beautiful Isle Royale Greenstone is our state gem. J is for the Jiffy Mix, a quick and easy treat. Produced in Chelsea, Jiffy was the world's first prepared baking mix. Mrs. Mabel White Holmes came up with the idea to produce a foolproof baking mix so anyone could bake homemade quality biscuits and muffins quickly. And the letter K is for Kellogg. They make breakfast good to eat. Crunch, crunch, mmm. The Kellogg Company has made Battle Creek the cereal capital of the world. The Kellogg brothers accidentally discovered the process for producing flaked cereal products in their search for healthy foods and sparked the beginning of the dry cereal industry. Lansing starts with the letter L. It's the capital of our state. Here the rules and laws are made that make Michigan so great. In the 1600s, Sault Ste. Marie was an important area for trade, and as the first European settlement, it was the region's first capital. In 1805, Detroit became the capital of the Michigan Territory. Michigan became a state on January 26, 1837, and Detroit remained the capital for another 10 years. Then, in 1847, after much debate, Lansing was awarded the honor of being the state capital of Michigan. Now we have a special letter I'm sure you'll understand. M is for Mitten, the shape of our land. To see Lower Michigan, just hold up your hand. The Lower Peninsula of Michigan is shaped like a mitten. Its unique shape, which is almost entirely surrounded by water, is due to the movement of glaciers, which carved gigantic lake basins and then melted to fill them thousands of years ago. N is for the native people paddling in the north, and for the northern lights flashing back and forth. The word Anishinaabe means the first people of the land. Native people have lived here for thousands of years, and some of their inventions include the toboggan, the snowshoe, and the birch bark canoe. Michigan's Anishinaabe are known as the Three Fires people, the Chippewa, Ojibwa, Ottawa, Ottawa, and Potawatomi, the Potawatomi. An O is for the ore boats that cross our lakes with pride. They carry precious cargo to and from the ocean wide. Ore boats, some over three football fields long, carry iron ore, copper, gravel, gypsum, coal, salt, and limestone from Michigan's mines to the industrial cities of the Midwestern United States and throughout the world. P will stand for Painted Turtle floating out of reach, and also for Petoskey Stone hiding on the beach. The Petoskey Stone is the official state stone of Michigan. It is a fossil from before the age of the dinosaurs, and is only found in Michigan. Petoskey Stones look like ordinary stones when they are dry, but when they are wet you can see their grayish honeycomb pattern. Some people like to find these stones and polish them to a smooth, shiny, brownish-gray color. Did you know the painted turtle is our state reptile? Q is for the quadricycle, rumbling near and far. With just four wheels and one small seat, it was Henry Ford's first car. 
Henry Ford's first gas-powered automobile was named the Quadricycle. He built the engine in his kitchen and completed the Quadricycle in a small shed. To get his 1896 invention out of the shed, he had to knock down a wall because it would not fit through the door. R is for the robin with red upon her breast, singing in the springtime to the babies in her nest. The red-breasted robin is our state bird. Its song goes cheep, tut, tut, tut. Now S is for our sand dunes drifting near the shore. When the wind begins to blow, they change their shape once more. Sand dunes are beautiful mounds of wind-blown sand. Living among the dunes are grasses, plants, trees, and the threatened dwarf lake iris, our state wildflower. The western shore of Michigan has many dunes, including the Sleeping Bear Dunes, which rise 460 feet above Lake Michigan. Tequamanan begins with T, two waterfalls on a river. The water rushes by so fast it almost makes us quiver. Ooh, what a sight, falling, falling with all of its might. Michigan has over 150 waterfalls, most of which are in the Upper Peninsula. The Quamanon Falls is the largest and most recognized of these and has two waterfalls. The upper falls drop nearly 50 feet and are more than 200 feet wide, while the lower falls have an island in the middle with five separate cascades on each side. The water gets its rich copper color from the decaying vegetation in nearby swamps. Upper Peninsula begins with you, rugged beauty for all to see. Lakes and rivers, ponds and streams are our part of the great UP. The Upper Peninsula is renowned for its natural beauty of mountains, rivers, lakes, forests, and wildlife. It is also rich in resources, particularly copper, iron ore, and timber. Verner's is a soda pop that starts with the letter V. The first one made in the USA, it's as tasty as can be. Fizz, fizz. Verner's, created in Detroit, was the first soda pop made in the United States. In 1862, pharmacist James Verner was trying to make a new drink when he was called to serve our country in the Civil War. He left his secret concoction in an oak cask. When he returned home four years later, he discovered that his drink had acquired a delicious gingery flavor, and the rest is pop history. Make a cool, refreshing treat by mixing Verner's with ice cream. W is for the white-tailed deer, as well as wolverine. Wherever you are in Michigan, there's wildlife to be seen. Michigan is nicknamed the Wolverine State and is a wonderland full of winter adventures such as skiing and snowshoeing. The white-tailed deer is the state mammal and is a graceful creature of the forest. Did you know deer shed their antlers each year? The letter X marks the spot where ships have met their fate. Deep beneath the water, sunken boats and treasure wait. Thousands of ships have crashed or sunk in the waters that border Michigan. Two of the most noted are the Griffin, which sank on its maiden voyage in 1679, and the Edmund Fitzgerald, a huge ore boat that sank in 1975 and was later immortalized in the song, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Y is for the many yachts that race along the lake. Some are slow and quiet, some leave a great big wake. The Chicago to Mackinac Yacht Race is the oldest and longest freshwater yacht race in the world. Sailors have been challenging the unpredictable waters of Lake Michigan since the first race in 1898. Z is for the Detroit Zoo. It's fun as fun can be. Now you've discovered Michigan from letters A to Z. The Detroit Zoo was the first zoo in America to feature cageless open exhibits that allow the animals more freedom to roam. The famous Bear Hill was the first exhibit of this type and today it remains a favorite among children of all ages. <laughs>